Hey, what's up? Mariah here with yet another video effects tutorial, and this one is going to cover the video effects action inside of iOS Boxer. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get this show on the road. In a prior video, I showed how to create and manage your video effects layout using the in-game control panel. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing right inside of iOS Boxer using the video effects action. So let's do a quick overview. Starting at the top, we've got the target, which can be found on practically every mapped key action in IS Foxer. Obviously, the target that is set here will be who or what is affected by the options below. Right under that, we've got the load video effects set named, which will load a specific set of video effects that you desire. It's only used if you're utilizing the in-game control panel to manage your different sets, and it will do the exact same thing as if you had selected a VFX layout from the drop-down menu using the in-game control panel and then press the load button. I'll also mention that if you load a new set on top of an existing set, that the existing set will be automatically unloaded to make room for the new one. Next on the list, we've got the remove all video effects command, and it does exactly what it sounds like. It removes all existing video effects viewers and sources from the specified target. This option does not permanently delete your video effects unless you haven't already saved them through either the in-game control panel or have an existing set created in IS Boxer. Further down along the left-hand side, there are four commands, hide, show, create, and destroy all of which use the options to the right in some way. Now, both hide and show are used for, wait for it, hiding and showing any video effects viewers. These two commands would typically be used by someone who uses a layout that was created through the eyes box or control panel and wants to make changes to it on the fly. Below that is create, which will allow you to create a viewer from scratch by using the settings to the right. These are the exact same settings that can be found within the in-game control panel, so if you're familiar with those, then you should be familiar with these. And finally, destroy does the same thing as if you had clicked the X in the upper right of any VFX pane. Again, this doesn't permanently delete anything unless you don't have it saved elsewhere. But unlike hide, destroy can be used on a source as well as a viewer. Now, using some of the information that I just went over, I'm going to recreate the same layout that I had in the prior video using only video effects actions. The mapped key wizard doesn't currently handle any VFX stuff, so we'll have to create all of this by hand. I hope you're ready for some manual labor. So I'll start by creating my three sources, map one, map two, and map three. There's no sync button in IS Boxer like there was in the control panel, so I do have to create all three sources manually but because they're all going to be in the same position, I can copy and paste these actions and then just change the name in the target. All right, so there are my three sources, and now I can create a second step in the same mapped key for my viewers. It's not entirely necessary to create another step, but doing it this way helps me break it down a little bit better for this demonstration. Now, if you've currently got a video effects layout that you'd like to move into IS Boxer, but are hesitant to do so, it's really as easy as just jotting down where everything goes and then transferring it over. You can see that I'm using the same exact positions and dimensions as I did in the prior video to recreate this layout. I do realize that I make this look a little bit easier than it actually is, but that's because I already know the positions and I already know the sizes that I'm going to be working with. Initially, it can be a little tedious having to figure out the correct size and placement for your viewers and sources, but once you do, it's pretty straightforward from there. So, for my first client, I created viewers for map 2 and map 3. For my second client, I created viewers for map 1 and map 3. And for my third client, I created viewers for map 2 and map 1. Now let's test this out. Here we are in game and I'm going to open up the control panel on each of my characters to show that there are no sources or viewers hiding in the background. Are we good? Okay. Now I'll press my hotkey once and because the control panels are still open, you can see that the sources have appeared. I'll press the hotkey again and there are my six viewers. Now if I go ahead and close down the control panels, you can see that I have the same layout as I did in the prior video. 
but this time I created it entirely in IS Boxer using only video effects actions. All right, moving right along. There's one last setting that I'd like to cover, and that's the mapped key on enter slash exit. That's what is called in the Icebox's control panel, but in the VFX action, it's the hold mapped key option there at the bottom, not to be confused with the hold option of a mapped key. Now I had to do some advanced customization in my Icebox or profile in order to demonstrate this next bit. And while I won't be walking through the creation process of it step by step, I will break it down afterwards. So using the same VFX layout that I just created, I took it a step further and added a zoom effect to my viewers on slot one. That means upon entering the viewer, I tell it to increase in size and change position via a mapped key. And upon exiting the viewer, I then restore it to its original state via another mapped key. Now, this is just a single example of how one might use the enter exit function of a video effects viewer. But let me break this down. I expanded upon the original VFX actions where I initially created the viewers. Looking at the map to viewer for slot one, I told it to execute a mapped key called zoom. This mapped key, which is set to execute when pressed, creates a new viewer for map two that is 50% larger than the original and slightly repositioned so that it's centered on its original spot. This mapped key is set to execute on pressed so that it works when entering the viewer. This action is also being told to execute a second mapped key called restore. The restore mapped key, which is set to execute when released, recreates the original map to using the same initial settings that it started with. So it goes back to its original state. This mapped key is set to execute on released so that it works when exiting the viewer. Now, all of this gives the illusion that the viewer has a zoom effect when I mouse over it, when in reality, it's just alternating between two different sized viewers. Well, that pretty much covers all there is to know about the video effects action, and you should be able to begin building layouts that are centered around it. With that being said, if anything that I covered in this video is still a little confusing, I've gone ahead and included a stripped down IS Boxer profile that contains everything from this video for anyone to review. The link is in the description. And if you have any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the Eyesboxer forum or the live chat.